The most basic form of pen tool drawing has to be using the pen tool to draw just basic straight lines. And in this movie, I'm going to show you how to draw straight line segments using the pen tool. So first things first, we need to create a brand new document. So I'll just go to the file menu and choose new. And I'm just going to create a new document. I'm going to make sure it's in landscape orientation and hit OK. That way I've got some room to work with. And so I'm going to grab the pen tool over here in the toolbar. You could also just press the letter P on your keyboard. And so in order to draw a straight line with the pen tool, you just click one time. And one of the new features in Illustrator CC is the fact that you get this sort of preview as to what the pen tool is going to do. And so if you want to draw a completely straight line, you can hold down the shift key or you can just visually see exactly where it's going to go and then click to set another point. Then you continue going and this sort of rubber band effect follows you around. Again, if you want to draw completely straight, just hold down the shift key, click, and the pen tool creates another line segment. The smart guides in Illustrator will also help you line up your points. And so here, it's going to snap me to the exact point where I first started. So now I can click again. And this one's a little jagged, so I might undo that, Control Z. And so let's do this again. Let's hold down the Shift key and do that. There we go. Now I've got a straight line. And then we'll complete this all the way around the end. When you get back to the beginning of where you started, you should see a small circle appear at the bottom right-hand corner of the pen tool. That indicates that you're about to close a path that you're drawing. When you click, you've now created a closed path, just like this. Now, in addition to completely straight lines, of course, you can do your own types of lines as well. You don't have to stick with just straight lines. So let's grab the selection tool and then press delete once we select this object. And then I'm going to grab the pen tool again, and let's try to draw a star. So I'm going to start right up here at the top, and I'll just click one time. And then I'm going to come down just a little bit at an angle, click again, come straight out, or you can go at an angle, up to you. I'll just come straight out for now. Then I'll make another point here, another point here, 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 here. And I'm just basically following the basic structure of a star. Now, you understand... This looks really bad, and I get that. But this is where I was talking about earlier. You don't have to be precise with the pen tool. You just draw the basic shape of what you're looking for, and then use something like the Direct Selection tool to get everything in place. So watch this. Let's grab the Direct Selection tool, and I'll zoom in on this sort of unbelievably bad star. And let's grab these anchor points. So right here's an anchor point, and I'll just move this up a bit until it sort of matches this anchor point right here. And then I'll zoom out just a little, drag this up until it's a straight line. You can kind of see what I'm able to start creating here. I'm able to just start matching these up a little bit. There we go. And then I'm just repositioning this until I get it exactly where I want. And so you can really clean this up. You can also select anchor points and just use your arrow keys to move them in or out. And so while this is not obviously perfect right off the bat, you can see where with a little practice, you could get really good at this. And it's just a matter of putting things exactly where you want them to be and making them more precise. You can also use the alignment tools inside of Illustrator to make this a little bit easier for you. So for instance, I could select this anchor point, hold down shift, select this anchor point. See the align tools that happen up here? I can align those on the horizontal center. I can drag a selection around all these anchor points and align them in the vertical center. There's all different types of things that you can do to make your artwork a little cleaner. You just have to think in terms of what it actually needs to do. But as you can see, drawing complex shapes with the pen tool, with a little practice, is not all that difficult. You just have to have a mental plan before you get started. Like I said, remember, it's that mental connect the dots. Plot out your dots ahead of time and then just simply connect them using the pen tool.